Today we're going to go through 6D constant velocity problems. And here we're, we're going to be sort of alternating between two dimensions and three dimensional vectors. Here we're just looking at vectors in two dimension, and we have a practical application of the parametric description of the equation of a line. So determine the parametric equations for this line. Okay, so if these are two points in space, um, let's call them A and B. Then vector AB is going to be the direction. Okay, so let's determine vector AB. That's the coordinates of B. Take away the coordinates of A. 6k1 is 5, and minus 16k4 is minus 20. So that's the direction, and for, for any direction vector, um, like we can leave it like that, we could divide it through by 5, etc. It's not really going to matter. Okay? Um, and then we also, and then we want the parametric equations of it, so then the coordinate, we can use either of them, um, but let's go with 1, 4, that's the coordinate, and then plus t times by the um, Um, and let's put it in, uh, let's, we can divide both of those by 5, so we'll put it in 1 minus 4. And that's going to simplify it a fair bit for us in the calculations that we do. Okay. Uh, plot the path for t equals 0, t equals 2, 4, and 5. Um, and this is useful as well because the vector from A to B is over 5 minutes. But now that I've divided it by 5, that's how far it's travelling per one period of time. Uh, and that's not denoted very clearly in the question, so I'll try to fix that. But there, there we go, we can make that point. So, plot the path. Alright, so let's go when t is 0, the coordinate is obviously 1, 4. When t is 2, um, then we're going to have that plus 2 times this. So we'll have 3 and 4. Uh, take 8 will be minus 4. Okay, when t is 4, we'll have 4, we'll have 5. and the specific locations that it follows. And it says to plot them, so if we draw up a Cartesian plane, and I'm just going to plot it approximately. First we have um, x is 1, y is 4. And then we have x is 3, y is minus 4. And then x is 5, y is minus 12. And following this line. A, B, 6 minus 16, 1, 4. Excellent. Okay, find the speed of the battleship given each grid unit is 1 kilometer. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do this. Um, now we know the vector from A to B is this vector here, isn't it? Um, and so if we're going to find the modulus of that, the distance between those two, that's how far it's travelled in five minutes. Okay, and then we could just divide it by five to work out what's its velocity per minute. That's a pretty intuitive way of doing it. So let's do that. So we've got vector AB. So let's say, well, what's the modulus of AB? That's the square root of five squared plus. Um, 20 squared, 25, 425. Okay, so that's how, that's the distance between A and B. And then um, we know that it takes five minutes to travel from A to B. So therefore, the speed is 425 on.
All right. Uh, D. When does the battleship cross the x axis? Okay. What is this point in time when it crosses the x axis? Okay, so let's think about the context of the problem. That is when the x, uh, sorry, the y value is equal to zero. So it's going to cross the x axis when the y component, the y component has a coordinate of four and a direction of minus four. And we want to know when does it cross the x axis and when is it equal to zero. After one minute, it crosses the x axis. Uh, determine the angle the battleship makes with the x axis. So, this is a recap of what we did yesterday. If we think about the direction of the battleship, this is it here, one and minus four. And if we think about the direction of the x axis, going across one and up zero. So, we have two vectors. If we want to find the angle between them, we're going to use the vector angle formula. Um, so, let's write that up. Cos theta is. A dot B on modulus A modulus B. So the dot product of these two is going to be 1 on top of 1 and 16, which is 17. One. Let's evaluate theta. Cos one on root 70, 76 degrees. All right, any questions? All right, so they will start off a bit easier than this one, uh, but they do get harder. Uh, let's see how we go.